Have you ever thought about how prepared your child's school would be to respond to an emergency? Like if your child needed CPR or one of their classmates needed CPR? Brightside reporter Josh Sidorowitz is here. And Josh, there's a high school using a recent scare as a learning opportunity, not just for teachers, but for students too. Courtney, they sure are. Yeah, I want you to meet Sam Mazeo here, your typical 17-year-old. He loves sports. He's about to begin his final year at Cypress Creek High in Wesley Chapel. But that's something that almost he didn't live to see. It turns out because of something that's a lot more prevalent than you might think it is. It's an old adage. Do what you love, follow your heart. But what if your heart I was like that that can't be right is keeping you from what you love I've always been healthy I've always been active five months ago it was fifth period everything changed I had my PE class and I was playing football when 17 year old Sam Mazeo's heart I sat down because I wasn't feeling good and then I passed out stopped I remember crying out once, just saying that, that, you know, Sam, you're gonna wake up and this is gonna be okay. The ordeal. And it was scary. Lasting mere minutes. The seconds matter. Cypress Creek High School nurse Amy Ponce immediately started CPR until an AED arrived. And he's a walking miracle. A miracle thanks to training now mandatory for all Pasco high schoolers. We're teaching hands-only CPR. It's not as intimidating. It is as effective to perform hands-only CPR, which is just compressions only. Statewide requirements vary. You would interlock your hands. But Hillsboro and Pinellas schools are also among those partnering with the American Heart Association to teach the simple life-saving skill. My family is so thankful for the outcome. I can't say it enough. Without that first initial CPR, he wouldn't be here. Today, Sam's back in the weight room. The genetic heart condition he now knows he has is ARVD. And while a pacemaker and defibrillator now inside his chest might mean he's sidelined from contact sport, doesn't mean he's sitting them out. I now coach our O-line. I'm still involved, still coming to practice every day. Still Sam, albeit with a different outlook on life and CPR. I wouldn't be here. Saved my life. So simple, yet something so crucial, yeah. right? And you don't, I mean, you don't really know who in the school is CPR certified and who would know how to respond. So it's right. amazing to see not just uh, teachers, but also students learning that and skill. They're, and they're training both here, too. And, and think about this. I mean, American Heart Association says more than 7,000 kids each year in Sam's age group, high schoolers, kids, will suffer cardiac arrest. So you've got 39 states that do mandate CPR training as a graduation requirement, right. but Florida is not among them. You know, and this is also a good moment to say to you at home, especially if you have children, you should learn CPR as well. I mean, they're, the American Heart Association, the Y, they all offer those courses, sometimes free as you well. You never know when you'll use it. Yeah. Yeah.